Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Worldwide Video. I am so happy to be standing here right now with director uh, Mikhail Red. How are you doing Mikhail? Uh, hello, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for having me Gabe. So hey, so what are you doing here in Southern California? Uh, I'm actually here to promote my second feature film, Birdshot, which is the official entry of the Philippines to the Academy Awards. So we're now having uh, promotional screenings for the Hollywood Foreign Press, for the Golden Globes, and for Academy members. So I'm here in California to promote the film. Yeah. Making your movies, uh, Birdshot, what was your favorite part of making Birdshot? And it's an ambitious script. It's a passion project. It's something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. I've always wanted to make a a Western set in the Philippines and we were very patient with the project you know it, we needed a lot of resources to pull it off and uh, I guess after two years um, it all worked out I mean right now you know we still can't believe it that we're the official entry of the Philippines for the Oscars and we've been to a lot of film festivals with the movie and it was even received well uh, locally when we released it and I'm uh, excited to announce that we are also going to have commercial screenings here in the U.S. early next year. Wow, um, wow, that's exciting. I'm uh, really happy for you and uh, more power to you. I also heard too that you you've just finished another feature movie called... Um... Yeah, I just finished my third feature film. It's uh, called Neo Manila. So we are now trying to find an international premiere for that movie. Uh, we had our local premiere at the Q Cinema Film Festival where we won a technical prize for cinematography and the, the audience prize. So it's a, it's a movie about uh, assassins in uh, contemporary Manila, uh, guns for hire during the drug war. So it's, it's a very different film, different from Birdshot. Uh, it's a nocturnal thriller. So uh, I hope one day when we bring it here to the U.S., uh, you you know you guys come out and support it. Anyway, uh, both films, Birdshot and Neo Manila, have Facebook pages. So if you're curious and you want more information on the film or you want to see the trailers, uh, just search us on Facebook, Birdshot or Neo Manila, and like the page. And uh, you know uh, we'll keep you posted on the the screening dates. Wow, congratulations on all that. That's that's really exciting. What was your fa favorite part of making uh, Neo Manila? Well, again, it was in a way my first uh, action film. Uh, I mean, it's it's more of a drama, but there's a lot of scenes that, you know, are very stylized. There's a lot of shootouts. I mean, Birdshot had some action as well, but uh, Neo Manila was more challenging in terms of uh, the action sequences so yeah it's something that i've always wanted to do you know as a filmmaker i keep on exploring uh, new genres in fact my next feature film the the fourth feature film that i'll be shooting next year is a horror film so it's going to be my first straight up horror film so yeah I'm, I'm also very excited about that one and i hope when it comes out you guys come out and support it wow ex wow that's exciting a lot of big things and exciting fun things are happening uh, coming out with Mikhail Red, and uh, so you know, in talking about you know being here in Southern California, um, I mean, gosh, how does it feel to be representing the Philippines as the Oscars uh, uh, entry for the Academy Awards? You know, this whole thing is just a huge bonus for us because we weren't really expecting it. You know, two years ago, we just wanted to make. Birdshot, which is again uh, like a passion project for me, uh, and then uh, we were quite surprised that it did well in both competitive festivals and genre festivals, and it also, uh, you know, was well received locally when we released it theatrically. And now, in a way, it's it's almost a two-year-old film. Uh, it's a good finale for the, the film, finally being selected as you know the. The representative for Philippine cinema for this year's Academy Award. So yeah, I'm very honored and uh, I'm quite proud of this film. And uh, you know, I wouldn't be here. The film wouldn't be here if it weren't for the hard work of the dedicated cast and crew back home. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, again, filmmaking is a collaborative effort. So it was uh, the hard work and the passion of all these people involved. So again, thank you to the cast and crew, and uh, again, thank you to the audience who supported this film. 
Yeah, thank you and thank you everywhere around the world. Uh, please support and look out for Mikhail Red's the movies that are coming out. I mean, just dropping some knowledge of like filmmaking and stuff. I mean, what's your, when you're going into and you're thinking about, hey, I'm, I have this idea for a movie. What, what's your creative process from like the beginning to end? For me as a filmmaker, um, I started out as a, an audience. You know, I'm a film fan. I like watching movies. So it starts out as my frustration as an audience. You know, there are certain films that I see uh, especially locally in the Philippines. And then I, I see foreign films and then I, I start thinking that, hey, this has never been done, you know, in a Filipino setting. So I want to see that as an audience, but no one is making it. So I'll do it myself. You know, I'll make that kind of film. At the same time, I, I like to uh, reference a lot of uh, true stories, you know, uh, real events. Uh, I want to, again, at the end of the day, a filmmaker should have a message. And I like to uh, deliver, you know, very socially relevant messages, but at the same time, package them in a in a genre shell. You know, I, I want to make my films entertaining and engaging. So y you have to reach a wider audience if you want, you know, your message to get across to more people and you want to affect change. I think that's the way to go. So I, it's a balancing act for me. I, I balance uh, genre, you know, style and substance. and. It's, a, it's always challenging and, you know, it's not perfect, but uh, that's what I aim for. So uh, I hope more filmmakers try to follow that path. I mean, uh, in the end, the audience is important. So if, if you want to say something important, you have to know how to market your film and package it in such a way that more people get to see it. Wow, yeah, well said. Uh, just one more question before we let our uh, audience go. Um, what is your message to aspiring filmmakers? Because what I've seen is that there's a lot of, uh, you know, with technology now and digital technology, it's easy to make movies. Um, is there any words of wisdom that you'd like to share with aspiring filmmakers? Well, I think um, the best way to be a filmmaker is to just go out and do it. I mean, no one's there to decide whether you're a filmmaker or not, except yourself. I mean, that, that that's the key word. I mean, filmmaker, you just have to go out and make films. And I always use this uh, metaphor. It's like jumping off a cliff and then you build your wings on the way down. I mean, with my first movie, I had to learn things the hard way. You know, uh, it was a struggle for me. Uh, like, For example, my, my first movie is like, one tenth of the budget of birdshot so imagine you know the whole thing was a learning process and uh, that's what you have to do i mean it, even if you start you know with less resources i suggest you make a lot of micro budget short films so there's less risk involved but you you get the chance to experiment and i guess try out different genres see what fits you best and you have to discover your voice, your identity as a filmmaker, and then maybe when you're ready, you can write your first feature-length script. So yeah, uh, my suggestion is just go out and do it, and there's no better way to learn but than uh, trying it out. And yeah, it's a struggle. You have to struggle. Even right now, I still consider myself a struggling filmmaker, even with the bigger budgets and bigger skills, the problems just, uh, I guess, are amplified and you know there, there's always something new that challenges me and it, it's never ending and I, I that's that's what I enjoy about it you know the process so yeah I suggest that you go out there and make your micro budget short films you know show them on YouTube show them to friends ask them what they think about it and improve upon your craft and then when you're ready you know write that feature length script and see where it goes nice right, thank you thank you very much and um, just one more time, just um, invite everybody out to go check out your movies, where they could find you on the internet, your Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. So again, search us. Uh, you can Google it or just search Facebook. Birdshot is my second feature film and my third feature film, Neo Manila. So we are going to have US screenings next year. Uh, we will keep you posted. Uh, we don't have the details yet, but uh, just check out the Facebook page and we'll update you. And I hope, yeah, maybe even in uh, LA Philippine International Film Festival, maybe they'll show Neo Manila. So we'll see. And uh, I hope to see you there. And when we finally show it in here in California, I hope you come out and support it. So again, thank you, Gabe. And thank you, Abe, for having me here. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, big dog. Mikhail, thanks so much. Make sure you check him out and make sure you make sure you 
Also subscribe to our channel and check us out uh, right here on Worldwide Video. Mikhail Red and Gabe Pactama. We out. Peace. See ya.